2021 glow season welcome to my channel clickety clack don't forget to double tap like subscribe comment and follow let me know what you think because we finna get lit you already know welcome to my channel oh her body that oh her like dang too sweet okay let's do that hello welcome to the candy house and i'm showing you guys how i make my wig and here's a little quick preview of how it looks after i make it so stay tuned so right here i'm just showing you guys my bundles are from you are best here and my closure is from tt here um i'm just i did order me as you can see the head stand and everything right here i'm just getting my bundles together by wetting them and giving them a brush so i could get the lengths together i have a 18 inch a 20 inch and a 22 inch i did have this hand as a sewing but i decided to make it in I do have two closures on this wig, which is one is a 4x4 and the other one is a 13 contour, which is ear to ear. Um, when I sew down my wig um, closures, I made sure not to put like the thread through the band just so that the wig will not, you know, get too tight or why I can't expand it and stuff. Honestly, this is probably like my second or third time actually making a wig, but I will say this is like my first time ever making a wig using closures. So I do hope that I did good. I will admit the video is not going to be too detailed in it, but I'm just showing you that I do have the closure so down and that's how it looks. So I'm going to have a lot of styles. Right here I'm sewing in the 22 inch, which is the longest bundle. And like I said, once again, I do not sew the thread through the band just so that the wig cap won't get tight or stiff or I can't put it across my head. Um, right here I'm getting to where I'm showing the 20 the 20 inch like I said I'm hoping that this video does give you an idea of what I did to sew my wig I'm not perfect at it but I will tell you that when I did finish it honestly the wig did feel nice it wasn't too tight it wasn't too small I have a um, big head so it was just right I know some people might say dang you have the wig cap like super 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 far up but honestly my head is big so to me when I pulled it like kind of towards the front more it fits on my head nice but honestly however you sew your wigs on or however you sew your tracks to make a wig I would say just do it how you're sewing a sewing in somebody else's head that's just the method I did I didn't draw lines I just looked at other YouTube videos honestly and then I just went off faith and just took the steps to not sew the thread through the band just so the wig can have more like stretchiness and honestly as you can see i'm just down to sewing my last track i did sew two tracks over there because i did not want to see that cover up or that part of the closure and i wanted the wig to be nice and full and i wanted all my um you know parts well ah, all my parts to be filled with tracks sorry you guys i'm a little nervous but i just wanted to show you guys a quick video of how I put my bundles and closure into a wig, even though I know it's summertime and I'm going to be doing braids. I just wanted to make a wig so when I'm not wearing my braids, I have a wig. Because you know, every girl or everybody wants that little wig they could go to. And as you can see, that's the finished result. This is me showing you guys how it looks putting on. I will show a video of how I install. So please like, comment, share, and follow. And I hope this video helps somebody out. Cause lately I feel like it's me versus me. Don't see competition, so would you compete? Don't even gotta be woke. Still gonna be up. I make a bag of my sleep. Cause like dang.